Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. A question we get a lot uh, is from people who have tried feeding birds in the past or maybe currently or trying to feed birds. And they say, Mark, I can't really attract birds. Why? What am I doing wrong? Why, why can't I attract birds to my yard? Well, there are factors that you can control and there are some factors you can't control. I'm going to cover both of those uh, today and, and, and hopefully we can increase your success at the feeders in your backyard by, by sticking through to the end of the video. So, okay. Well, you know, most of us, our goal when we want to attract birds to our yard is to attract as many different kinds as we can. And you know that I always talk about food, water, and shelter. Those are the things that you are uh, needing to provide to entice birds to your backyard and thus to your bird feeders. And that those are broad topics, food, water, and shelter. And sometimes in the year, I said, there's factors you cannot control. Now, if you're watching this now, when I first uh, post this video in uh, early October, late September, then there are factors you can't control that are affecting the, the birds that you're yard, in your yard. And that is natural food. Uh, Mother Nature's bounty, as we call it, uh, is really kicking in for most of the country right now. Now, it may have already passed if you're further to the north and it still may be on the way. It just depends on the timing. Uh, whenever all the seeds and the berries ripen, and that is providing your birds and, of course, all wildlife with the, the, the food that they need uh, at this time. So it's much safer out there in the woods when they're, you know, you got lots of uh, cover and you can sneak around and camouflage versus at a bird feeder station that you're out in the open typically without a lot of cover. Uh, and, and so, you know, they're going to take advantage of those safe places and natural foods and food diversity while they can. But it, it, it lasts for about, oh, it depends on where you're at, four to six weeks. Uh, you'll have a slow period at your bird feeders, but you should be able to attract birds once the, the stress conditions go up. And for us, that's usually early November through November, especially December through June, whenever the chances of harsh weather, cold temperatures, and snow, of course, increases the bird's needs. And of course, another, I'm going to, you almost hear you say it every uh, video I do, least amount of work for the most amount of gain. And then uh, when the weather's mild and nice, you don't have to work very hard to find food because it's plentiful. When it's cold and stressful, uh, you don't have as much time to, to seek out food. So bird feeders become more dependable, and more important to you. And of course, those bird feeders, we always talk about what kind of, food are you offering? And that is where, you know, it's easy to go to that topic first because uh, a, a lot of people do skimp, you know, you get what you pay for. They they feed the cheapest bag of bird seed that they possibly can. And I understand people's budgets and, and but you know, the results are going to be similar. If you're feeding high quality seed, uh, like these sunflower hearts and peanuts, those are very high value to birds. In other words, they convert very quickly to energy uh, and it helps them to make it through cold weather. And I did a program and I'll put a link up uh, uh, to it if you've not watched it. And that is the, the bird seed by the numbers. And that is you definitely want to look at the nutritional value of your bird seed. Uh, this is uh, the the bird seed that was just on the screen, Mark's No Waste Blend. And the number two numbers you really want to look at are the crude protein and the crude fat numbers, 25% and 45%, no less than that in the bird seed. That's a good high quality bag of bird seed. Now, a cheaper bag of, I call it, well, I, just cheaper bags of bird seed you get other places. Look at the crude po protein in this uh, off of a local store shelf, 7%. Uh, protein and 2% fat. Very, very nu low nutritional value in that bag for birds. So what do what, what you to prefer? The birds, you, you, the seed that you're going to be able to eat less of and get by with and, and it fuel you during really cold weather. So the quality of your bird seed really does make a big difference. Uh, the grains, the, the millet, milo, cracked corn, those guys are going to attract 
more of the sparrows and, and uh, blackbirds to your yard. Uh, high quality seeds like sunflower, safflower, peanuts are going to attract the birds that you really want more uh, at, in your backyard. So pay attention to what you're feeding. And again, you know, whenever you're have a, a feeder station, the other thing that you, you've got to take into consideration, of course, is how safe the birds feel in your yard. I have a lot of people who, you know, whenever we talk about their bird feeder stations and they, they confess that, well, we really did. It, it just move into this house. There's not many trees in the yard. It's very, very open. There's no bushes, no shrubs. That makes it very hard to attract birds because they they need to feel confident that if a predator like a Cooper's hawk or even a cat or something comes through your yard, they need to be able to get away quickly uh, into the bushes and shrubs. Like in this yard, you got plenty of trees for them to escape to. But for those of you who don't, there's no reason for you to give up on bird feeding because you can attract birds by adding a, a, a brush pile. Uh, until you, your trees and shrubs can grow and get of age, you can build, especially during the winter months, uh, fall and winter, this is the most important time to build a brush pile. This is really well constructed, uh, built like a teepee. Uh, for uh, the, the limb, so the birds can fly into there if they're feeding out of the feeder off here to the right or to the left, they can get into this cover very quickly and foil predators are trying to chase them. So, you know, food, the, the food obviously is, is a, a, a really important choice whenever you're feeding birds, but also escape cover that uh, food, water, this is shelter, and then of course. You know me, if you watch my videos, I always talk about a clean, reliable source of unfrozen water. It is absolutely the single most important thing you can do for birds. Uh, during the harsh winter months, uh, a heated bird bath such as this one, you see the electrical cord running out of there. Uh, and, and, and especially uh, in really drought conditions, like we've had some dry stretches this year, and people were talking about letting their sprinklers uh, spray into the bushes and let it drip and watching how many birds would gather in those bushes uh, by providing that source of water for them. Of course, they feel safe in the bushes. So um, a clean, reliable source of water is so, so important. And don't forget that. Uh, if you can keep it moving, that's another great thing. Uh, that's kind of hard to do in the, in the dead of winter, but during much of the year, keeping the water agitated and moving is a, a way to help attract the birds too and help them to find the water there. And another thing that you're going to hear me talk about a lot, of course, is planting native plants. Uh, you're, if you you want the birds in your yard, and maybe the birds will not uh, come to your feeders as, as much, and, but you still want to feed them, you can add landscaping and landscape with native plants because they are uh, a great source of caterpillars and bugs. And, of course, nectar like this hummingbird is taking advantage of here. So... Food, water, and shelter. Make sure you're addressing those things. Make sure you're feeding good quality seed. You're keeping it fresh. If you never keep bird seed longer than a month in your feeders, never keep it in storage unrefrigerated or in the freezer. Don't ever keep it longer than three months unless you can keep it in a cold place. So fresh, clean food, escape cover, and water. You put those together and you should be able to attract lots of birds to your yards. Great idea for program. Thank you for joining in. Give us a like, give us a share. If you wouldn't, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Till then, have a great day.